Yo what's up guys this is Aptrix here welcome back to a new video today we'll be taking a look at Yuzu emulator and Yuzu early access brand new update in which there have been lot of changes and some of them make the emulator more stable along with that i'll be testing out games like jump force etc in today's video with that being said let's get started now i also have some news from the developers of Yuzu that the Yuzu will never be able to support android version 10 or below android 11 will be its minimum requirement in this new update released on june 1 there are some fixes like screen layout on foldable devices, fixed lot of crashing issues along with reverse landscape mode, improves various UI text and add new error messages, include the latest changes from upstream Yuzu, so the original Yuzu emulator for PC, they have included some changes from it. Along with the normal Yuzu emulators update, the same update is present in Yuzu early access, so I don't really understand how is early access build of Yuzu emulator beneficial if the both emulators are getting same updates. Uh, but I do believe that Yuzu early access is little more optimized in terms of performance compared to that of normal Yuzu emulator and also it supports more games which means a bigger compatibility list. So in today's video I'll be testing out both these emulators new updates. Let's open the normal version of Yuzu emulator. Now the first thing which I'd like to tell you guys that this new update has a major bug which I'll be telling you guys how to fix later on in today's video. But starting off, let's go to advanced settings. Speed limit has not been turned on. CPU accuracy will set it to auto. Now let's go back to system settings. Here we'll enable dock mode uh, just to see some games. If they are able to go in game, they will look better. And in graphics settings, accuracy level is normal. Resolution is set to 0.5x as usual to get a better benchmark and performance in many high end titles which Yuzu emulator supports. VSync is turned off, uh, anti aliasing method is none, a uh, window adapting filter, bilinear aspect ratio, test to fit. And I'll be enabling the disk shader catch option as lot of crashing issues have been fixed in this update. So uh, even with this option turned on you should be able to go in game without getting crashing issues and I am using the Qualcomm version 676.13 Vulkan driver as my Android device has Snapdragon uh, 8 Gen 2 processor. We also have managed save data option in this new update which was added in previous update uh, which I have already covered. But anyways let's try out some games and let me tell you guys that most of these games don't even run they have crashing issues but the games do go in game if you try them for two to three times they will start working now i have opened legend of zelda tears of the kingdom and the first thing you'll notice is where are the touch controls man like where are on screen touch controls overlay i didn't understand so i went to toggle controls and i also saw two new uh, control options so i enabled them but anyways the overlay was unavailable the game has started but still there are no touch controls and i was really confused at this moment i thought that the new update has messed up some overlays i went to overlay options again and again to make sure that i haven't disabled the on-screen touch controls i disabled show overlay option i re-enabled it but still there were no on-screen touch controls this is a major bug in this latest update which i faced in both yuzu emulator normal version and yuzu early access which i'll be showing you guys later on how to fix and i had been thinking to myself that once the game starts the touch controls may appear but no that wasn't the case so let me just go ahead and exit emulation and try this out on the yuzu early access build let me know in the comment section down below if you guys also face this issue after updating your yuzu emulator to its latest version now let's try out jump force for today's video because i have heard that this game goes in game i wanted to test it out since a long time as this is one of the best anime games ever and let me show you guys the settings which I am using in early access version of Yuzu. Again the same settings like dock mode has been enabled but this time I have also enabled limit speed percentage. Let's go to graphics and resolution is set to 0.5x as usual. But this time I haven't enabled the disk shader catch option. You will again notice that there are no on screen touch controls present even in the Yuzu emulator early access build. So let me tell you guys how to fix it. Once you open your game just press back, go to overlay option and tap on reset overlay after scrolling down. And your on screen touch controls will finally appear. This was a weird bug because I hadn't even edited my touch controls because sometimes if you edit an overlay uh, it will be saved in your internal storage and after updating the app uh, it may have some changes but then again I hadn't done any of that. Still our overlay is fixed now with the help of reset overlay option and there we go jump force is about to begin. Now time for a fun fact that Yuzu emulator is able to boot a lot of games like a lot of games almost all games which I have tested on Yuzu were able to boot 
but not all of them go in game or are playable so if that issue gets fixed then almost all the nintendo switch titles like dragon ball z kakarot ww2 k18 uh fifa games all of them will be 100 playable and i do believe that yuzu android uh, in its near future will get an performance update which will fix the lagging issues as its performance is not that great in most of the games even on flagship devices like on my snapdragon 8 gen 2 android device a few days ago i tested out pokemon let's go pikachu and i only got about 12 to 13 fps in outside world while emulating it whereas in the same game i get uh, about 80 to 90 fps on skyline emulator when i had disabled frame throttling which is a major performance difference and the game isn't playable at 13 fps the game is surely playable at least at 30 fps so i hope the performance fix arrives very soon and as you can see jump force cutscene is being shown properly it's just a cutscene so we are getting about 30 fps straight but i'm pretty sure that once the game actually starts we might be getting low fps so let me skip this cutscene and the game has started let's tap on the a button now i don't think that this game will be working i do believe that the game might crash let's wait and loading 47 percent okay the game has frozen and there it goes as i mentioned before not all games are playable so that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all the yuzu emulator updates goodbye